Hi, my name is Grace Bukachi and you're watching CTAM Church Online. Welcome to the conversation we've been having with Pastor Mweni and we had a lovely, lovely session last Saturday. So we carry on this Saturday and again, allow me to say that Proverbs 22 verse 6 that tells us to train a child in the way that they should go and when they're old they will not depart from it means that you're continually having a conversation training up that child and that includes talking about sex which in this season when we parents have the responsibility which we've always had of our children but now we don't have them in school and we are we have from university high school technical college um, primary school kindergarten and perhaps with aunties and uncles everybody's in the home how do we carry on this conversation i think the conversation needs to be age appropriate yes. because what you're telling your daughter in campus yes. your son in kindergarten is a different conversation <laughs> so it, it's not a one size fits all yes so it's it's age appropriate but sometimes i think the, the other reality that we need to acknowledge with the children that we're bringing up now mm -hmm. is that they know a bit oh yes they're not blank slates no you know so it would be nice for us to find out where are they yes. you know start from understanding where they are yes and see where that where, where what their understanding is mm. and then and then now be able to speak truth into that space where they are at yeah. but also remember Remember that our children are in school, they're yes. interacting with children from all walks of life. Yes. And then there is um, technology. Yes. Technology is speaking to our children really, really loudly. Mm -hmm. They're on Instagram, mm -hmm. they're on, on, on WhatsApp, mm -hmm. they're on different social mm -hmm. media platforms. Mm -hmm. And then there is um, there is TV itself, yes. there is the cartoons. I mean, yeah. even cartoons today yes. have yes. all sorts of sexual uh, conversations. They do spoken or unspoken yes and our advertising i yes. mean I, I think we are a very sexualized generation yes so there's a lot of sex being spoken around mm -hmm. but whether whether it is based on truth mm -hmm. whether it's based on meats mm -hmm. whether it's based on on innuendo mm. whether it's based on everyone is doing it mm -hmm. now those are the conversations that we need to come into that space and speak truth wow i i said this in an earlier video that sex is not bad it is good and coming from the perspective of a family care and enrichment pastor um, where I walk with young couples getting ready for marriage and all this time we've told them sex is bad then now we have to change flip the coin and say now it is good and how do we have that conversation and say again yes age appropriately it is not bad and I, I, I want to go on record to say that it's not sex is good it's that it needs to happen in uh, for us Christians in a marriage situation um, and yet like you have said that they are on these online streets and on other social media platforms that we may not even be very well conversant with um, however we need to make sure that it's not um, when when you you, you you can't call your daughter and say okay now we want to discuss sex they're going to think what is mom up to, or your son, you know? How do you go about doing that? Well, a story is told of a boy who sat with his dad and his dad said, well, let's, we're going to talk about sex. So the boy looked at his dad and asked his dad, so daddy, what do you want to know? Because they know a lot. <laughs> They know a lot, and and and, oh and 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 we must understand that yes. they are not necessarily not knowing. They know, yeah. But also, even in their knowing, yes. there is there is one. It's one thing to know. Mm. It's another thing to understand. Mm. It's another thing to to then put yourself yes. in that conversation yeah. of of what happens, yeah. and and that's where the age appropriate conversations come in. Mm -hmm. But also, as parents, even as we're having age appropriate conversations, mm. we must have them in truth. Yes. So we need to start calling things as they are. Yes. We need to stop calling them susus yes. and poopoos and and, yes. and, and, and nyonyos. And the reason why we need to say these things truthfully mm -hmm. is because if you don't tell them truth, mm -hmm. they will hear the truth from another source. And from then henceforth, yes. they will realize that mom and dad are not a trusted source. Oh, no. So we must be the ones that choose to be the credible trusted source in this conversation wow. so we must begin having it early yes by the way we need to actually start 
having it at, at age four. Wow. You know. What do you tell a mother who wants to know how to talk about sex at age four? Good touch, bad touch. Good touch, bad touch. Teach your child about my private parts. And, and it's very interesting the skills that teachers have. Yes. I remember the other day online there was this woman who was saying, don't touch. And she's just telling them, when I say don't touch, you repeat. When I, when I show you the, the body part, you repeat, don't touch. Uh -huh. and, the, and it was a circle of, 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 I think it was primary children. Wow. And all she was saying was, don't touch. And, the children, and then she would, she would show where. And the children would giggle and, you oh. know, they're really embarrassed. But you could see it's memorable. Yes. I remember talking to a nursery school teacher and it's a, 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 a rhyme that says, these are my private parts, my private parts, my private parts. You know, and, and so that the kids, oh. it sticks to their oh. mind. Wow. So we need to be able to teach our children yes. what is good touch, what is bad touch. Yes. When someone touches you here, what should you do? When someone touches you here, wow. how should you respond? Where should nobody touch you? Wow. When, when even, even if it's your mommy, showering you yes. even if it is your daddy yes. in the house even yes. if it is your brother even if it is a house help who wow. should not touch you how and how far should how far is too far how do you differentiate between a good touch and a bad touch mm -hmm. let a child come to you and tell you so and so touched me this way mm -hmm. let it be you saying you, you between parent and child mm -hmm. having that conversation mm -hmm. to realize okay it was a, it wasn't a bad touch mm -hmm. As opposed to your child having a bad touch and you, the parent, are not able to actually speak into that space. Wow. Another thing as parents we need to learn to do, we need to learn to trust our children. Yes. Our children at that age, and I'm talking, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the really mm. young mm. ones, eh? mm. they're also very innocent. They are. And, and when a child doesn't want to hang out with someone, mm. when a child doesn't, is mm. uncomfortable mm. about someone. Some things. It's be very something. careful about don't force them yes but also we, we need to also begin to teach our children yes. what is appropriate and what is not wow who to sit on yes who not to yes. you know those things that yes. we normally would take yes. for granted yes unfortunately the generation that we are in mm -hmm. we're not as safe anymore no no. We are not, we're, children are being raped by, yes. in, incidentally, it is said, in up home. to 60% yes. of, of abuse is happening with wow. people we know. Wow. So it's not enough to tell your children, mm. don't talk to strangers. Mm -mm. The people who are abusing them are not strangers. Wow. So what I hear you saying is that there's an, if the parents, we need to talk about what good touch is. And good touch happens when you're married. It is very fulfilling. And bad touch shouldn't be happening now. And where it has happened, please DM us. Let us know. Perhaps you're a parent whose child has been abused and you don't know who to go to. There are counselors online who are available to talk to you. But in this conversation, my prayer is that we will not stop. We will not just have a one-touch conversation. We will teach our children. The way we teach them that we knock, they knock when they're coming into our room if, if you have daughters or sons who share a room, knock. Just, just respect the place of respect so that they also feel that we are honoring their bodies and that their bodies are at the temple of the Holy Spirit. How do we end this? <laughs> um, I think the first place for parents is, please, you cannot be uncomfortable with this conversation. Yeah. Your, 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 your shame your discomfort is going to not have is going to kill the conversation mm. so please deal with it yes. and sometimes it may be deeper wounds yes. parents may have deeper wounds yes. maybe your first sexual experience was mm. was was abusive mm. maybe your first sexual experience was rape mm. so please begin to deal with that mm. begin to ask yourself today as a parent mm. what is it that you wish someone had told you mm. when you are a teenager wow. what do you wish someone had told you when you're in campus yes what do you wish someone had told you uh when you are a single adult mm. what are those conversations that you wish someone had them with you mm -hmm. and then now go ahead and have them with the people under your care Wow. Well, you had us. I don't think there's a way we can exhaust this topic. And I'm looking forward to just hearing from you and finding out, even with the teenage pregnancies in our country, I know those numbers seem to be really large. But the reality is, yes, in the next six months, don't allow me to use the word freak out your daughter. Talk with them. Let them know. 
that if they engage in sex, they will be pregnant. And some may keep being pregnant because it's not their time for ovulation and all those conversations need to be had. Moms of boys, let the boys know that the girls get ovulate, that the girls have their periods, their menses. Uh, moms and your daughters talk about menses. Don't get surprised when the girl begins having her periods. I really have to end this, but I pray that I have triggered you as a parent or an auntie or an uncle to have this conversation in a place of honoring the innocence and the intimacy and sweetness that sex has, but that as a Christian parent, you will not be ashamed to have this conversation. God bless you. Please interact with us on Sitem Church Online on our various platforms. Bye-bye.